Hello DIY fan, today we are going to change the MDF panels in our team's kitchen by repainting it with blackboard, also known as chalkboard paint, which is a reusable writing surface on which the text or drawing are made with chalk sticks or calcium sulfide or calcium carbonate. We want to repaint this kitchen MDF board because it has been damaged by cleaning with strong kitchen cleaning chemicals, it has become stained. So never clean kitchen worktop surface after frying fatty burgers with strong kitchen cleaning chemicals will be like us, a damaged MDF panel. So that's why today we will show you how to paint kitchen MDF panel with blackboard chalkboard paint. Others also paint kitchen cabinets and kitchen worktop surfaces this way. Before you start, we will need to buy a paint tray paint rollers in different sizes, acetone or paint thinner to degrease the surface, paper towel, painter's tape, screwdriver, roller frame arm, scissors and blackboard paint. Start by removing all light and electrical contacts to avoid covering them with paint. If you're not familiar with electricity, ask your grandmother or certified electrician for help. The kitchen is not unplugged, these areas are very dangerous, touching them will get you a new haircut at best. Worst case scenario, you won't be able to finish that kitchen in this lifetime. This is no joke, so entrust electricity to your grandmother. The next thing you need to do is to use painter's tape to tape off all the areas that don't need painting. This needs to be done with 100% accuracy. This will partly determine how nice the final result will look. The process is annoying and slow, so put on some good music or a podcast and you will enjoy this process. After about one hour of fun, everything should be with tape, of course, the spots that needs to be. Then take acetone or any other surface degreaser for painting. Remember that such chemicals are corrosive, should be used in well ventilated areas and with rubber gloves. Put a small amount of acetone on a sponge and start degreasing the surface to be painted. This will ensure better contact of the paint with the surface to be painted and the result will be better quality and longer lasting. Pour the blackboard paint inside the paint tray and wet our paint roller with it. Put on some good music or a podcast and we can start painting. It will take some time but you have to be 100% accurate here. This will also be the hardest part. For more precise work it's better to use a brush. The correct technique is to paint the edges and then the large surface areas with the paint roller. Enough of sniffing paint. The first coat is finished, it looks bad, but the good news, as the paint dries, the result will become very good. While the paint is drying, wash our paint tray. After 12 hours, we can apply the second coat of paint. Soak the roller with the paint and paint the second coat as we did before. First the edges and then the large areas. The second coat will go on faster because you'll have practiced. For my paint, it says that two coats are enough. After 24 hours, remove all the tape and evaluate the final result. It might be that the tape has been applied incorrectly somewhere and there are small unpainted areas. These can be touched up with a small brush if desired and needed. Remove the painter's tape from all the contacts and put them back. But don't forget to keep a close eye on the electricity when you're happy with the final result. If you need help, feel free to ask your grandmother. Here's the end result. It turned out better than we expected. Because it was the first time we did it, I hope you found this how to paint kitchen MDF panel with blackboard chalkboard paint tutorial DIY video useful. This wall will no longer have the damaged surface stain. Now you can write on the wall some topical things, some inspirational motto or video ideas that come to mind while drinking your morning coffee. Thank you for watching the whole video. As always, we appreciate if you like and subscribe for a support of these videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them below the video.